Okay, so at this point, I now have the QuickBooks Export Utility installed on my computer. And I'm ready to run the utility. Now, before I run the utility, I want to open up this QuickBooks Online Data folder. Right now, that folder is empty. And I'm just bringing it up because I want to show you that the data is going to be pulled from that QuickBooks Online file into my QB Online data folder on my desktop here. So just double click on the QuickBooks Export Utility now. And here's where we have our Casework QuickBooks Export Utility version 1.069. Now at the top for QuickBooks versions, we do have the ability to extract the data from all of these different versions of QuickBooks down to the desktop. So I'll, again, we're focused on the online version today, so I'm going to go with QuickBooks Online. For my export path, you can see that I do have the path selected that is listed right here. So the data that I get out of the QuickBooks file is going to go into the empty folder that you see on my screen down below. If you want, you can browse for a new folder, get to the folder you want, create a new folder using your Browse for Folder dialog, which is standard Windows operating. I'm just going to click OK and leave it where it is. Now, if there's a special need to exclude any transactions beyond a certain date, we can choose specify the last transaction date and choose whatever date it is that you want to do as a cutoff. Now, usually we have this turned off by default so that all transactions are handled. From there, we can also specify the accounting method. For some cases, you may need to extract the cash method as opposed to the accrual method. Today, I'm going to use the accrual method of accounting. Once we've got all of our settings, we're actually ready to begin the export from the QuickBooks file. Now, some of you might be saying, but I have multiple QuickBooks Online files, Todd. How do I know which one it's pulling from? Well, that's actually the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and click Export. And that pops up the authorization connection with Intuit Dialog. So now I have to log into my QuickBooks Online account, which Claude graciously set up for me last week so that we could do this presentation for you. And I'll just put in my password. And I've got it set to remember me, so my email stayed there from the last time I had logged in. From here, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now, Remember, you have multiple QuickBooks files online because you're dealing with multiple companies or you're the public accountant yourself and you have multiple clients that have given you access so that you can pull this down and do their year-end work. So here I've got two files. I've got Pro Hockey School and I've got a Caseware file. And I want to pull the data down from Pro Hockey School, so I'm going to select that and it takes me to the Authorize page, and we can authorize into it to securely share your data with Caseware accessing QuickBooks Online. And it shows us which entity it is, and Caseware accessing QuickBooks Online off to the right-hand side. Now, by clicking the Authorize button, I'm going to authorize into it to share my data with Caseware accessing QuickBooks Online. Additionally, I'm also acknowledging that Caseware accessing QuickBooks Online's terms and conditions and privacy policy apply to this app, and Caseware accessing QuickBooks Online's use of the data. Now, at this point, if you don't want to, you can always say no thanks and back out of here, but we do wish to continue with this presentation, so I'm going to go ahead and authorize that. Now, authorization is complete, and in the background here, we can see that the data is already being extracted and brought down to my local computer. Now, that's important because from this point, I'm either the accountant that's going to bring it into the Caseware Working Paper file, or I'm the accountant's client that's going to provide this data to my accountant so that they can do your end work. The export has completed successfully. That's always a good sign. I'm going to click OK here. And I can close the export utility now. So here's the data that has been brought in because of that export. If you are the company and you're providing this data to your account, it is necessary to provide them with all of the files that you see here. Otherwise, they will not be able to import the data properly. 